feel like a loner? Well, I'm finna tell you how to survive being alone. Me, I'm a loner. I don't think that it was my intentions to go that route, but I feel like life led me that route. And that's because I stood on what I believed as a man. I stood on what I believed because I had my seeds with me. I stood on what I believed because I'm just that type of person to not let you turn me down. A lot of people want you in a box. A lot of people want to turn you down. They don't want you to grow. They want to be in secret competition with you because they can't be you. And what I mean by that is, let's talk about your charisma. You may have so much charisma as being who you are at one moment, and you have these leeches coming around, constantly calling your phone. Hey, how you do this? Hey, how you do that? Hey, can you help me with this? And you being such this nice person, they stealing all your energy and all your charisma. You're feeding it into them. And now you're becoming weak. You're becoming weaker and weaker, but you're so strong that you don't see it. You won't see it until you're on ground crawling. Your stomach all thin. You ain't got no food in the house. Why? Because when they call you for help, you was like, okay, I got you. Why? Because when your kid needed some food, when your kid needed his earn his time, you went and charged another motherfucker flat on that car. Or you went and put some earn their time. And you forgot about your little. So, situations like that will cause you to end up being alone. A lot of times being alone meaning you just tired. You tired of people bullshit. You tired of dealing with people. You don't want to be in a situation where you're always the problem. You always being brought down. When in actuality, you may have more talent, you may have a championship or champion mindset, you may just be that hero to everybody around you and saving the day for everybody around you that they may be trying to cuff you up under their armpits so you can't grow and you're only there for them to where no one else can soak that game up that they're getting for free. But once you wake up and see that, Instead of lying to yourself, look in the mirror and say, oh, I'm giving all this to me. Have you even done that yet? When you become alone and get in a situation where you're by yourself, meaning ain't nobody picking up the phone for you no more, ain't nobody like your social media posts, won't nobody come in on your stuff no more, won't nobody even check on you, see how you're doing, but you're still checking on everybody else. You're going to have to fall back and realize they done sucked all your energy out. Like a vampire be sucking up blood, they done sucked all your energy out. So now you gotta fall back, cause now you down, broke, alone. What do you do? You fall back. You focus on you. You stop answering that phone. You stop popping up every time somebody needs you. You stop telling them yes. You become a no person. It is okay to say no because you need to tell yourself yes first. You need to make sure your kids straight, your seeds straight. You need to make sure you're telling them yes first before anybody outside your door. Because are those people coming to your need? Are those people popping up to your shows, your events, your parties, your gatherings? No. And you wondering why? Why nobody showing up? Wake up! It could be because you're more talented. You have more skill. The people that you're around may not know the things that you know and don't know how to have that type of communication with you. So you have to find like-minded people in order to go to the next level. Doesn't mean you're being different. Doesn't mean you think you're better. Doesn't mean you're changing or anything like that. You're simply being yourself. And if no one can accept the fact that you're being yourself, then they don't need to be around you. Because you're the ultimate person that runs your life. 
So that means you have to handle it your way. It's okay to seek advice. It's okay to go find somebody with wisdom that can help you and guide you through your situations, even if it's a situation of being alone. Keep you a book with you. If you're ever feeling down and depressed, make sure you cut the lights on. Don't be stuck in the dark. Go outside, get some fresh air, get one with nature, get one with the sun. You may have to walk outside barefooted sometime, but if you fall back for a whole year or six months, whatever your goals and your dreams are, put yourself in a position to make sure that you're working on that. Prime example, YouTube for me. I feel back when I felt like a lot of, like, hey, it's me. So I'm finna go hard on me. And I invested all that into my YouTube, my energy. And look at us now. We're YouTube partners. So I'm an example of you can do it as well. Do I still feel it on at times? Yes. Because one of the cons of that situation of being alone, it kind of make you have to come back outside and learn how to trust again because it, it's like... If you had a rough past, then the trust is really damaged. And then I spent this time of trying to heal and being alone. So now I have to come back outside and regain trust from people that I don't even know. But one thing that I do know is that the energy and the vibe is totally different. As long as you can walk outside and smile and keep a smile on your face, then you're welcoming other people in. If you're walking outside looking angry in the face, who's going to want to be around? So, being alone, tips, keep you a book, something to read, um, turn the light on if it ever get dark, if you ever feeling down and depressed, always have you somebody to talk to in the middle of the night or any time of the day that you feel like you have a separation anxiety or things like that, make sure you have someone that you can go to and don't look at it as if no one's really dealing with me. You may have to change you. You may have to get around a whole new creation. Recreate yourself and reinvent yourself to be better than who you was in your past. And by the time people do decide to come around, it may be too late. You probably are too far gone. And they're just going to have to accept it, eat that, and realize that.